Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, baby. Got the Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, baby. Up City. What's up? What's up? Up City. Hey, what's up? What's up? Oh, Private Division. Unreal Engine. Hey, hey, Private Division. What? What? Unreal Engine. What? What? Hey, Private Division. I mean, Insta L O D. What's up? What's up, y'all? And welcome to JC Man Gaming. Today, we're playing the long awaited Outer Worlds. I'm excited to play this. And the sad part is, I got this on release day. But I, for some reason, I was like, you know what? I don't want to play until I start recording. And here we are. <laughs> Let's just get into it, man. This is, I've, I've been. Been waiting too long, you know. Y'all heard about all the news and stuff like that, so you you know, I ain't gotta explain nothing. Adjust the gamma slider until you can barely see the left. Okay, barely. Okay, barely see it. Barely see. I can barely see it like that. Yeah. I always go to settings because I'm kind of used to PC stuff. Who plays inverted? I'm I'm so interested in people that play inverted. Let's get it. Normal. Wait. This is the mode, if you enjoy story mode, then combat. In story mode, enemies have less health and do less damage. Oh, I ain't never seen an option to story. Normal is normal mode. I'm, I'm just going to do normal. Just going to do normal. Conversation subtitles on, bark on, cinematic on. There we go. Let's immerse. Let's immerse in this world. I'm here for it. I got uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and I got a bunch of games lined up. Oh, sorry. And hope to be left at the edge of the colony. They sure ain't hiding being um Fallout and kinda and adjacent. Security beacon cam 109. Seems like it should be flopping up and down because he did that. <laughs> this ain't no, uh... okay. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Is this me? Average. Oh, okay, okay. This is. Oh, this is something I can choose. Okay. Strength. Um, intelligence. In most games, I always seem like I need that. <laughs> Dexterity, yeah, I don't know. Dexterity affects melee attack speed and range. See, I'm not really a melee guy though. But, you know, it could happen. It says with handguns and dodge and block. Um, so I guess I can't, it doesn't hurt to do that. My charm is probably, probably something that'd be low, but maybe I can upgrade these things later. Uh, skill, got a skill thing. Let's just, Get that melee and let's get that defense going. If I regret it, that, su that sucks on me. Uh, what? A few moments later. Wow, I'm taking a long time to figure this out. I don't know. Let's do elevator specials. I like the engineering. Ooh, get to choose. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Let's see this, right? If the faces are not cool, like if I can't really go crazy with it, then. Like if nobody looks like, uh. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do with them. 
I can make them lighter, a little darker. I'm about, about that by complexion. That's definitely not my eye color. Nah. Keep it more realistic. Let's try to. Let's try to. I guess not. I guess you can get realistic. Kinda. I guess I go with that one. But that seems kind of boring, right? Let's just do the light brown. <laughs> nah. Let's just do the dark brown color. What am I changing, bro? I mean, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Little hairstyles. What's the hairstyles looking like? Ooh. <laughs> Clean cut there. Look, we got some clean cuts in the future. <laughs> What's the color looking like though? With the color, you know what though? I mean, I'm in the future. Let's think about this. You think I'm gonna go with the regular hair color? Is there like a bluish tone to it? Like a blue? This is. This looks blue on my screen. I don't know if it is blue. It looks blue. That's my. That about my brow. It's a little lighter, but oh, got a uni. There you go. Welcome to the game. <laughs> name is it like first and last or is it just like a first name type thing into character spaces choice is dying to meet you hello my name is number 94 let's just go with nico we ain't going any crazy we're just gonna be nico all right look at me uh everything look good everything looks good start this game if i messed up i messed up that's the whole experience here you know this is why we play these games. Okay, Trying to pay attention. That's why a lot of times I get lost because I'm not paying attention to the game. I'd be so scared to be flying in space like that. People shooting at me. I guess because I'm not really a space guy. I guess if you're used to space, you probably wouldn't be as terrified as I would. But that's not the point. <laughs> Shit. What are you doing? Ah, oh, is this me? Ah, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Duh. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but Something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special. I'm not going to skip. I'm going to watch this. Dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. <laughs> now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. This game would be so crazy in a, like, a 4D um, experience, you know. Get your old chair and the VR set and be like, <laughs> like, that'd be awesome. That's where games are about to go. And that's going to be crazy to me. That one day a video game is like a 4D experience. You, you can, I ain't going to say you can feel the hits, but it like, you know, it kind of, like if you wear a suit and you're playing Call of Duty, you can, <laughs> it's like, ah, dang, it's like a tickle. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> He should be waiting for you at the landing site. 
He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all colonists are counting on you. Nope. Tempting, but nope. Okay. I done crash landed on a strange planet. <laughs> Star Command. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of like. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Kind of reminds me of like the Halo days. Better you than the board, huh? Okay. Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about oh, the jump. Thing. Nasty way to go. Is there a stamina bar? Circle is the crouch. Yeah. Smart. Smart mechanics. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I've been doing that kinda. I got a, I don't got a sprint bar. Crouch and sneak to avoid detection. Detection from what? While sneaking, use use tall grass, rocks, <laughs> or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies. I read it so late and slow. The awareness meter over the enemy head tell you if they're under unaware, suspicious, and, and shut up. Okay. Oh shoot. Yeah, but okay. I'm sorry. Don't worry about me. Don't don't bother. I'm not doing anything. What is this? Can I pick this up? Nope. Can't pick it up. Not gonna keep wasting my time. Crouch. Okay. Down we go. I'm sorry. Now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Interesting. You, you're not telling me to, to jump down, are you? <laughs> That's hilarious. You have low health. Use the emergency medicine here in each. Who are you, buddy? Just. No, I just, I just want to heal and go. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Sit still. I'll patch you up. What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. But guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Interesting. Persuade. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll get the help. Someone grounded their ship illegally. I'll hunt them down for you. Oh, I don't really have any. <laughs> yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All spacer's choice weapons are now. Oh, that's a lot of ammo to talk about a little bit. 
You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. <laughs> like a walking ad. Ooh. I'm holding it kind of weird. How do I? Damage my ears. Probably should have stood a little further away from that. <laughs> Ooh, tactical time dilation. Due to the complication in steaming from being revived after an extension hibernation, your brain processed time differently. Oh, it's a little time stuff. Okay. Oh, shoot. What the heck? What did I just pull out? Bruh. What is happening? Reload. So apparently, can't get nothing right here. <laughs> I think this is obviously meant to be a, a tutorial because I'm like, <laughs> just sorry with this aiming. Okay. Hacking and picking locks. I guess because of hills. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I need material for that. I mean, it's, it's, it's just like Fallout. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming it's three. Ooh. Oh, that's... That's all it takes for hacking? That's hilarious. I'm better. Did all that just to hack the things. What's in this little thing? Nothing's in here? It's weird trying to learn a new game. I'm holding square. What is this? Pick up a fat pill. Pre-sliced bread. That's been around since pre-sliced bread. Nothing. I gotta get used to this. Or push up my sensitivity. That's, this feels kind of weird. I guess because I'm kind of using the Call of Duty and I'm trying to... Oh, shoot. Okay, we could try this again. All right. We're in tall grass. What can I do with that? <laughs> nope. Can't do that. Apparently, let's try to go around. Is there a tactical way of doing things? No? <laughs> Is there? Oh, that's lame. <laughs> Cause I swear you could do I thought you could do like a tactical thing. Right? Light ammo. Rebuilt mini gear. Necklace. Is there a junk system? <laughs> Cause apparently it seems like there is. Increases intelligence for a short time. Interesting. Okay. Hey, boy, this is a this is a whole thing to learn. <laughs> oh, shoot. Are they enemies? Y'all not enemies, are y'all? Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay. So y'all not. Talk. Go. 
call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation. Let it go. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Bleeding agents, but still kicking. Well, that's a relief. You don't want to know how much paperwork's involved in. Why would I be that mean? <laughs> we'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Persuade, do Spacer's Choice guards back up from a challenge? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owners. Guess. Don't worry. Sit tight. I'll handle it. I don't know. Let's, let's go crazy. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Damn, boy, this is such a... Yeah. These guys move fast. These guys, they move way too fast. Well, that's kind of cool. What's this about? Ooh, look like food. Grab as much ammo as I can. I don't know what this bit cartridge is. You can fast travel the locations you have unlocked. <laughs> In my headphones, boy, that sounded kind of crazy. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Okay. Thought you were going to lock me in here and kill me. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment. I'm not here. I don't appreciate you being talked to. Why would I be that person? What are you going to do? Self-destruct? I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Please engage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all four bodies in five, four, three. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. <laughs> to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Really? He met my escape pod all right, head first. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. <laughs> I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> okay, but I'm not Hawthorne. I don't know it. Sure. Hey, Captain Hawthorne. I see sure. <laughs> Why the music? <laughs> the main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of 
Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. Okay. I have taken the liberty of sending you a unique captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? <laughs> captain of the Unreliable, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Skill improvements. Okay. We'll talk. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Okay. Appreciate it. I'm just passing through. My pie crashed in the hills back there. How do you know I'm not a marauder? Sam sounds crazy. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Why does everything sounds like a um an ad? <laughs> I never got your name, Nico. <laughs> You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Right. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Follow the yellow brick road. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offer me a job? Do what I want. You're asking the wrong person. I'm not interested. Edgewater is a company town. Board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money it means paperwork. Paperwork, paperwork means signatures. Some of the farmers become a might. <laughs> You want me to collect what you, what's old to you? I can do that. <laughs> You're making people pay for their own graves. Why can't you collect these fees yourself? Quotas mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves. You know. All right, I'll collect the fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Who? Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Okay. Uh, yeah, why not, right? Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Mm, okay. I'll be back. Uh, is there a way to, like, assign a certain quest? That's the main quest. Okay. <laughs> I miss games like this, man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm just not. Oh man. I remember playing Fallout for like I don't know how many times I played the first Fallout. I even got the whole booklet. No. Do I have Fallout's booklet or do I have Fallout 4's booklet? I think I got Fallout 4's booklet. I don't know, I can go check. But it's amazing. Are you in here? Please don't touch anything. anything. Your, Your hands, hands are, are probably, probably crawling, crawling with, with germs. germs. <laughs> Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Relax, I'm clean. Your haircuts usually come with a free lecture. I can show you my hands. <laughs> so everyone says. Until, Until someone forgets, forgets to cough, cough into, into their, their elbow, elbow, and then, then we're, we're all dying, dying of the plague. plague. I'm Conrad. You will report, report to, to me if your if hair, hair fails to meet Spacer's choice aesthetic, choice aesthetic, aesthetic, aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. I'm looking to repair my ship. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? 
As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Oh, that's deep. I don't care. Pay up. You have a very loose definition of <laughs> that. Some quality drama. That's some quality drama. You should audition. Don't be hard on yourself. I have to be. If only to prepare myself for my inevitable dressing down at the hands of corporate. I'm trying to play like no, Silas, me. I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Just give Silas an IOU. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Okay. I don't have time for this. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. <laughs> Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. I don't have time for this. Much obliged. Okay. So, he doesn't have any money. And let's go here. Yes, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you... <laughs> well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow, uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Oh, wow. Take it easy. It just didn't hit me. I heard you muttering to yourself. You want me? You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? Uh, let's just say. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile, and there's the door. What? I'm here to collect your girl. No, I see. Knows, don't get disrespectful. That's why disrespectful. Think, that's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He knows what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Sorry to hear that. You're being paranoid. I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Uh, why do you think why do you think I'm a freelancer? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it. Wasn't trying to insult you. Never mind. What do you need done? Why would I be insulted? Don't worry about it. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got. Just anyway. find yourself deeper and deeper into these doggone storylines. Nab that medicine and bring it back to me. Not so fast. Got some questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you just buy some medicine yourself? I assume there are guards. I've heard enough. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. What can you tell me about these marauders? It is a reality of life in the Vale. <sighs> Grass is brown, sky is gray. Excuse me. Marauders are outside the walls. Why can't you just buy some? I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? Uh, I'll think about it. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. 
Was you listening to my conversation? Uh, Esther. Is Esther? It's just Esther. I don't know why I was pronounced it Esther. Esther. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. What? What do you need? What do you need it for? He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's... I'll think about it. What? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Uh-huh. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. I get it. You need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. You would? I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. Gosh, these people here. Everybody's corrupted. They don't think <laughs> corrupted. They're struggling out here, man. I, I, I can sympathize with them. I get it. Let's see who's in here. Is there stairs? It's an elevator. Ooh, elevator. Ooh, just kind of shoots up like that. It's kind of cool. Hey, it's a long elevator. Monkey Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. Um, I did not mean to. Don't apologize. Intrude. Try using small words. I was just. <laughs> not yet. I feel like that's part of the main mission. I got some debt to collect. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Where are you at? Oh, there you go. Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Tenderfoot? Excuse me. Shit. Silas still on about that. Yep. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. It's kind of you, I guess. You have to pay for your neighbor's grants, huh? I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness. Wasn't really sarcasm. Own. I mean, I guess it's, Law requires it's a weird situation. Law fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative. Which meant me. Okay. Shame though. Eugene was a good worker. Hmm. I'm not gonna investigate no more than that. She's kind of off the list now. So far, I'm liking the game. It's not much I've done, but so far I'm liking it. I can't go blind. <laughs> Trying to get to a point when I got better guns. Because that pistol ain't hitting on a bit of nothing. Hey, about those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? Uh, Conrad says he can't afford to pay. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning <clears throat> pit that swallows his every bit. Oh. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Oh, wow. Are you suggesting extortion? Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. That's hilarious. He should just he just suggested extortion. And then said I was just trying to figure out what that word was. Session shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for. This is going to ruin us. Let's 
Seems like the thing I should have known, right? Yeah. What can I do for you? Uh, I know about Eugene. I've got some questions. You know about Eugene? How? <laughs> you didn't see. <laughs> Uh, none of your business. You probably heard it from one of our local gossip mongers. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I mean, ask for forgiveness from the vector later. I don't care. I'm just here to collect your dues. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. I told you Gene killed him. I don't, I don't feel like I need to dive any deeper in that conversation. So it's, whoever this person is is who I need to talk to. What are these supposed to be dandelions? Oh! Oh, my bad! Oh, my bad! Wait! Wait! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Go back a little bit. <laughs> and I know in this game you can like kill people off and it don't it don't change anything. I mean I think it supposedly makes things difficult, but no. That's not that was not that's, that's not at all what I was trying to do. Okay, let's try this again. Talk. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his sense. What? You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I am not one of your people's. What are you babbling about? Are you okay? You seem confused. Silas sent me. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Uh, are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Uh, yeah. Gotta watch out for these mechanics. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over yeah. by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I'll let you be. Oh? Grave digging's a fine profession. Heard this. Always you run into any trouble? I'm all done. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out on my way for you. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Got a question. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He's, con he's convinced you knew. Yeah. Isn't that why you wanted him to collect his fees? I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Bit cartilage. Is this, is this like money currency? Got a question for you. What's my yeah. questions, man? This town must be a pretty bad shape if it keeps 
if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. How long have you been? I don't really care for all this. I honestly, honestly don't care. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Outer Worlds. It seems like it's going to be a little good. A little good. What the heck am I trying to say? Um, seems like it's going to be a good game. Uh, I've only seen a couple videos about it. Not really a lot of people talking about it. But seems pretty cool. So if you want to see more, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Uh, bye bye.